This is Asus ZenBook and recently I freshly installed Windows. Now I do have some issues as you can see I do have external mouse means the trackpad no longer working even there is no any Wi-Fi signal here due to the driver issues. So what happened when you freshly install any Windows? It minimizes all the drivers, okay? And there are some default drivers for the display, keyboard and other stuff that might work. But it's not completely up to date. So today in this video, I'm going to show you what you should do if you freshly install Windows. OK, so the first thing I create the icons from there. I get to more option manage from manage. I get to device manager to see how many drivers are missing. As you can see, the yellow hazard marks are there. This indicates there is no driver. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to remove any external USB stick or memory card, whatever connected. For example, this is my Windows 10 installer, which I'm going to remove it. And on the list, I can see the many drivers missing. As you can see, those hazard marks. So if you don't have any wireless connection, you should have one external Wi-Fi USB stick to get the temporary driver to get your laptop connected to internet. And if the trackpad doesn't work, then you need to have one wired mouse. Okay. From there now, most of the USB Wi-Fi sticks, their plug and play means once you connect it, you're going to see the Wi-Fi signals are there. Connect into your Wi-Fi. Once you connect to the Wi-Fi, you almost done most of the job. Now we're going to leave a couple of comments, single one, and that should give you free access to all the drivers. Okay. So Windows 10 and Windows 11, they do have an issue. There is an app called Windows Update. When you click there, it's going to scan everything and it's going to give you privilege to update everything. So again, we're going to go to device manager, right click on one of the driver missing hardware. And from there, we'll try to automatically update it. If this option doesn't work, you don't need to be disappointed. As you can see here, there is a bottom line and there is option called Windows Update. If you click here, it's going to take you to the different page, as you can see, and it says Windows Update. Now. This is scanning all the hardwares and gathering the information so the Windows system can locate which drivers are missing and they can download everything by itself as long as you have the internet connection. Leave it for a couple of hours and don't forget to leave your charger connected. What happened? Because of this one takes so much time plus your processor extremely using at this point, it might take the battery completely dried off. Okay, so leave the charger connected. And don't forget when Windows get up to date, sometimes this Windows also update your firmware, I mean the BIOS. And BIOS update is sometimes very peculiar. What happens is it does have few steps like step one, step two, step three. And also during the BIOS updates, it takes a couple of restart even more. And when it restarts, the black screen might hold for a few seconds, which indicates the system is switched off. So if you press the power button or forcefully shut it down, you're going to damage the entire hardware permanently. Okay. So leave the charger connected, just click once, update all, and when everything up to date, don't forget to restart a couple of times, and then you will see your trackpad does work, everything solved. So let me know how did you like about this video. If it does helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your time. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.